Alright guys, how's it going? You could say I'm tooled up. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to have a few beers tonight. This one is Likewise from Tool. This one is Nelson Serving from Tool. This is the one that I'm drinking now. And I've got to say, That is beautiful. That is wow. Really, really good. But anyway, right. Enough of that. Basically, it's going to be out of the old, in with the new. I'm getting rid of all my fermenters, pretty much. And I've replaced it with this beauty this is the three gallon carboy it's the glass one this is going to be my fermenter because i only do 11 litre batches i've already done a little test and it comes up to about here so i can't wait and for secondary I've got one of these. It's an 11.4 litre carboy. It's a PET one. It looks awesome. This is clear as fuck. I mean, this is beautiful. Uh, basically, I wanted two of these. I ordered two of these, the plastic ones, because I want two keen on getting the glass one. But I got a message from the company saying, we've only got one of, the, one of these left and they're getting a like the rest in in like a month's time i said i can't wait that long so can i not have the um glass one instead and they went yep no problem so obviously this is a little bit more uh cost wise than this but they waived that but yeah um this is going to suit my brewing down to a t because the ferment so I'm going to ferment it in there, it's going to come up to about there and hopefully I'm going to, well obviously I'm going to lose a little bit when I transfer it into here, um, but yeah it's going, to, it's going to look awesome, absolutely awesome. I've got some loose hops to go in here as well, so I'm going to dry hop with leaf hops. Uh, I've never done it before that's going to be great so basically what I did um, about an hour ago I did a, um, a brew in a bag no chill brew I used citra so you pretty much can guess what I um, brewed up it's a zombie dust but basically all I used was first wort hops I put 13 grams, no, sorry, 15 grams of hops, first water hops, and that was it. No other hops. So I did the boil for an hour, and then I put 30 grams in the cube. So I'm cube hopping again. So basically, when I put all of this beer into here tomorrow, I will show a little bit of that so you can see the beer in here. I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be great. I think so. And then basically, oh, I lost train of thought. Then yeah, so so I'm going to put the beer in that. Leave it to ferment for two weeks. And then I'm going to rack it into here and I'm going to probably put about 50 grams of uh, Amarillo hops loose in there. And that's going to be great. And then I'm going to rack it into something else. I'm not going to bottle, but we'll talk more about that later on. But yeah, things have changed. It's all good. I'm enjoying brewing again. 
and I'm enjoying drinking decent beer. Damn, this is lovely. I've been putting this off for ages, this one. I've got a couple more Nelson servings. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by that. That is awesome. PET. It rocks. I don't have, don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. With this, yeah, obviously I've got to be a little bit more careful, but I think I'll be alright. Yeah. More footage tomorrow, guys. Sweet. I'll see you in a bit. All right then, guys. Right, so basically, I transferred my wart from the cube to this glass fermenter. Look at that. So it's one oh six o, which is quite high. Now, see, that's lighter than that, and there seems to be a hell of a lot of hop residue. That is because I um, basically sort of like cube hopped with pellets and I don't know what's going on. There seems to be a lot of um, debris there and it's, it's made the beer go like murky. But anyway, it's looking good. Uh, so I've got a blow off tube. That's going into there. Let's fill up the star sand. Uh, first time using the blow off tube, blah blah blah, but yeah, I think next time what I'm going to do is use um, leaf hops for my um, hop additions and also in the cube if I decide to cube hop again because I'm going to dry hop loose in that. So, yeah, look at that, it's a thing of beauty, awesome, right. Hopefully in the morning it will be bubbling. I'll try and get a video of that. But right. Right guys. Right, just got in from work. And ha ha look at that. We have lift off. So yeah. Looks like the old blow off tubes working a treat. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just a gentle blop, 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 blop. Look at that. Yeah. This is looking awesome. Look at that. Well, there you go. Job done. Can't wait to rack this into that one for secondary in two weeks time. Right. So there we are guys. Awesome. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.